This is Dabu 7. We have confirmation here today that dozens of U.S. senators have been issued satellite phones to be used during an emergency situation. And this situation is what they're dubbing a disruptive event. Whatever that may be, apparently our senators are being told that something is incoming here right around the corner and that these phones that have been distributed as part of a new security effort from the Senate Sergeant at Arms have been offered to every single senator in case of a big time emergency. It's unclear exactly which senators took part in this, but they're saying that last month, Karen Gibson put this out and said that satellite communication will ensure a redundant and secure means of communication during a disruptive event. So the red flags are flying now and the questions are coming in as well. What is the disruptive event? They obviously know that something is about to happen and they're preparing their senators for such an event. You know, lights out. And as it says here, the phones will support security measures during an emergency that takes out communications in the United States. Folks, we've got a big event about to happen where the communication and comms are about to go down and they are making sure that our senators have satellite phones to be able to deal with the situation. This is real deal. I'm going to break this down further on the live stream. Make sure to join me going live tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern. There's links below. Hit that subscribe button for more. This has been Dabu7. Shalom, Shalom. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. That's giving all praise to the Most High. Name is Only Begotten Son, Name Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I only give double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who taught us his truth and truth of sincerity, peace, and salutations to the full lake scattered abroad. And real quick in this video, I want to touch on. What you just heard from Dabu 7, okay? What you just heard from Dabu 7, it says senators given satellite phones for a disruptive event that will take out the communications. Okay, so, um, and now he said how, you know, they're giving these phones so that they, they can know how to deal with this event, which they don't deal with these events anyways, man. These senators are full of shit, you know? Really, they're, they're just putting on, putting, on, putting on the show. At the end of the day, at this place... If the communications do go out, by the way, who knows the EMP? They're saying China's, you know, going to do a, a cyber attack against America. You know, um, sure they can shoot a missile over here above the atmosphere and then knock out all the lights, man. You know, but whatever, whatever it may be, the lights are going to get shut off. The, these phones are going to get shut off. There's going to be no, uh, you know, you know, no, 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 nothing pretty soon. And I believe that they gave these senators these phones so that they can be still contacted to go to told and be told when to go to the, the bunkers, man. Because when all this hell does come to the earth, these government officials and these leaders, you know, these um senators and stuff and whatnot. Hey, amen. They're going to uh, run right into those bunkers. OK, they're going to run right into those bunkers, man. OK, and they know what's coming they're, they, 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 they are a part of it. OK, they, they, they're, they're helping forward it. It says amid growing concerns of security risks to members, amid growing concerns of security risks to members of Congress, more than 50 senators have been issued satellite phones. A satellite phone means whenever the, you know, the, the actual, the regular your cell phones go out, you know, the, these landlines go out, they're going to have a phone that can still work because it's, it, 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 it'll be linked to those satellites. It says... Um, have been issued satellite phones for emergency communication. Uh, people familiar with the measures told uh, CBS News in testimony before the Senate uh, uh, Appropriations Committee last month, Senate Sergeant in Arms Karen Gibson says satellite communications is being deployed to ensure a redundant and secure means of communication during a disruptive event. So they're saying a disruptive event is coming. OK, a disruptive event is coming, which means something's going to disrupt this world that we live in, this life we live in every day, day by day. You know, 
like I said, you know, going through the mundane, going to work, clocking out, you know, going home, cooking dinner, watching TV, going to bed. That's about to change, man. Something's about to happen, you know. Something's about to happen, and they know it. You know, they got this debt ceiling thing going on where they're saying that, you know, me, me and people can lose their jobs. They're saying how, um, you know, you, you, you got the whole thing at the border. You know, you got them talking about China for the fin a cyber attack. So whatever so whatever does happen, they're preparing their people for it, but they ain't give you no satellite phone. Okay, your government is gonna leave you out there. And like I said, I believe they're making a run for it, man. I believe that they're about to go into them bunkers and watch, you know, this place, you know, fall apart, you know, from 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 the cameras that they have out here. You know, they're gonna watch it on TV in them bunkers, man. While you out here starving to death and you are eating your your your, your children, they're gonna be watching you from a damn uh red light. It's like your red light, green light. Um, I mean the uh, traffic light cameras, man. You know, watching you. And glad that they ain't out there. Okay, then this is the time that we, we we are warning you of a time worse than ever before in history is coming to this earth, and these elites they're the ones doing it. They know about it. So let's get right to the point. This is um second. I mean Revelation chapter six verse. Uh, 12 it says and i beheld when they, they, he had opened the sixth seal and lo there were a there was a there there was a great earthquake and the sun became dark as sour cloth of hair and the moon became as blood Selachia. and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth even as fig tree as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind so if you ever see a uh, like a fruit tree you know, when a, when a mighty wind comes through, you know, some of those fruits will fall to the ground and they'll make a thud. Doom, doom, doom. What well, is ultimately talking about thermonuclear, um, thermonuclear destruction, man. Okay, total annihilation. America's about to be destroyed and these at least know it's coming. All right, now I'm not saying that this is what, 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 what's going to happen tomorrow, but something's going to happen that's going to lead up to this, man. And this is why they're going to go, this is why they're going into those bunkers. Because, because they know when shit hit the fan, you know, it's going to it's going to really hit the fan. It ain't just going to be be on be going to be you know, bouncing back. Nah, man. When they when they hit this time, that's it. It says. Verse uh, 14, it says in the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together and every mountain and, and island were moved out of their place because what those missiles, man, you know, it's going to start pelting this earth. And these government, these government elites, they seek to hide. They already got, you know, underground bunkers. You know, luxury bunkers, which we don't did videos on that. Verse 15, it says, And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man, hid themselves in the dens. It's so lucky. Hid themselves in the dens. You know, so the kings of the earth, you know, the, the, the kings of these nations, the great men, you know, the, 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 the ones that's with them, you know, the military men, the military chiefs, the rich men. OK, and every bondman, everybody in the military. OK, they all going to come, come, come to a common ag ag agreement. OK, it's time and we got to go. And they show you in these movies anytime before they, you know, a nuclear bomb go off. You know, you got, you know, 30 minutes or whatever. And you have military trucks pulling to certain people's houses, you know, government officials, but also like dentists and doctors, you know, people that they, they, they may need down there in them bunkers to pretty much restart life. You know, they think they're going to rise from the ashes, you know, like a phoenix. But but they, haven't, they, are, they are wildly mistaken. They're going to hide in them bunkers. We're going to pull them out. Okay, with that spiritual power. It says, um, to like it says, uh, and the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bond man and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains so they had they're gonna try to hide themselves in those dens and then the rocks of the mountains and said unto the mountains and rocks fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne you see so they so they so they are about to run try to run from the lord they're gonna try to run from the, the lord's judgment you know it says and from the wrath of the lamb because once this thing start kicking off it's, it's a, a lot of stuff it's gonna, it's gonna happen fast man and it's going to be a domino effect. You'll see, you know, if you ever see people line up dominoes and then they they knock one. It may take them forever, all day to line up these dominoes. It may take them, you know, hours to line them up perfectly. 
you know, because if you make one wrong, you know, uh, move, one wrong step, then it's going to fall down. You got to do it all over again. So they may have to set, be very patient, take their time to set up these dominoes. But once they knock them, once it's time for, for, for them to knock one over and then and, and for that, you know, that domino effect of the, the all the dominoes falling and, you know, so synchronized order, um, which, which which there's that's how it's going to be. You know, back to back to back to back, but the Lord, you know, calls it like, um, you know, birth pains, man. You know, you see if, if, if a woman is pregnant, you know, she goes into the, she start going into labor. She start getting those contractions and maybe in versus one here, one there. Then they get more and more, you know, um, um, con con consistent, you know, and then boom, the baby is delivered. It says, and said unto the mountains and the rocks, follow us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne. And from the earth raft of the lamb. And for, uh, and the great day of his wrath is come. For the great day of his wrath is come. Who shall be able to stand? You see? So they know the Lord is coming. Okay, they know that the, the, that the time is up. They know that this world is coming to an end. Okay, let me grab that too. They understand this, man. You know, they, they're on the same page. Okay. Let me go here. It says Matthew chapter 24 verse 14 and the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And they seen this. They seen this word go out. Matter of fact, I was in public today, the grocery store or whatever. And there was this tall, dark skinned Jake in there. You know, he had like he, he had like a, a bald head, but he uh, he had a big white beard. You know, he had a black shirt on. It's kind of like an ashy black, you know, so it's kind of old. You can tell it's kind of old, but it said Hebrew Israelite on it. You know, and then on the back of it, it said, um, it said something, then it has Bible scriptures, but it said Hebrew Israelite on it. And I, you know, I was just, I was walking behind him, you know, and I was just watching people that was, you know, passing by him and the Edomites and the, even the Jakes, you know, they would read his shirt and they would just look, they would just have this look on their face, you know, whether it be like a, a joking look or a, a terrified look or an annoyance look, you know, everybody had a reaction to that because this word has went out into the world. Okay. This world was word has went out into the world and these elites they know that you know once his word go out you know a, a that's the end of their rulership so they're getting ready to make their their departure they're about to make a run for it all right and they're getting all their government officials ready you know and they, 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 when that when that time comes they may be um home with their family whatever and then while they're home with their family you know they may get that phone call then they uh, run to the, you know, I mean, and then, you know, some government Humvees pull up, you know, grab, grab them and their families, take, take them to a bunker and they're going to be out of there, man. Okay. So when I, whatever, no, when your phone ain't working, they, they going to have a phone that's working and they show you that in these movies, man. Okay. They show you that in these movies. It says, um, <clears throat> it says in this gospel of the kingdom should be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come so that the, the, the world the end is definitely coming okay the end is definitely coming the end is world as we know it it's coming and they and, and, and uh and um they know it and they're preparing for it okay let me see what else i got get right to the point oh well, 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 let's grab this it says second Ezra chapter 6 verse 25 and whosoever and whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation and the end of your world so we are about to witness the end of this world man it says second Ezra chapter 9 verse 5 for like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end and the end is manifest, so the end is manifesting. Okay, it's coming clearer and clearer. That is that Elon must just get cleared for, for this um brain corrogum this brain implant by the FDA. So times are speeding up, Lord speeding up the times, man. Okay. And something's about something's coming, a disruptive event. Alright, let me go back here. I'm gonna close out with this right here. This is um because Esau knows the end of his world, man. He he knows his time is up. 
Second Ezra chapter six, verse uh, seven. Then I answered and said, what shall be the parting asunder of the times or what shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So right now, Esau is in power. This is Esau's world, and it's, but it's coming to an end, and they see that. And after that, all world is the beginning of it that followeth, man. So no matter how well, what these devils try to do, where they try to run, their time is running up. And they know that. You know, they know that, and they're afraid. You know, and and and, 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 and it ain't nowhere to run no more. Okay, it ain't nowhere to run no more. So a time is of an essence, and great death and destruction is coming to America, man. All right, and these, you know, pale pale ass Edomites like this lady right here. Look at her. She got a phone. Okay, she got one of them satellite phones. So when they, when they go to make a run for it, she ain't she she ain't giving you no phone calls. Okay, and you ain't getting no phone, so they are gonna leave you out here, man. All right, seek your help by Shem, y'all. Shout out he may be found. Repent, because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Shout out one.